Hi, my name is Mitchell. Um, I wanted to ask this question to the side against the motion. Um, you talked about the FDA's role in protecting broad public health, and I wanted to ask what is the difference, or how can you separate public health from the health of those individuals dying from the lack of a fast-tracked drug, and how can you say that a person should not be let to try this drug? Are they, be, are they living in the United States by permission of the government? The question is based on the premise, well, there's two aspects. One is ba the, based on the premise that there are all these great drugs out there that the FDA is keeping from people, and I would submit that that fact is simply incorrect. There are not a lot of great drugs out there that are being kept from people that we know work. Now, you raise a second question, which is an interesting philosophical libertarian issue. Should the government ever say to a patient, there's a chemical you want to take, uh, and you're, you have a doctor that you found that wants to give it to you. We don't think you should have it because we don't think it's safe or effective. Uh, I think there's a legitimate political difference within, certainly on the stage and in the audience. I believe that we need to have a governmental agency that does say, yeah, you can't have that drug. We don't know if it works. We have a system of drug approvals. It has not been approved. No, you can't have it. And that may be seen as violation of individual freedom, but uh, you know, so is the right to uh, you know go through red lights and a lot of other things that are not in necessarily society's I interest. Scott, Scott. Yeah, I, I think we need to think about. You're, you're, you're talking about the drugs that you know. You don't see a whole plethora of drugs that just aren't available after they've been developed. I think we need to also think about the drugs that never get developed. I'll give you an example: polycystic kidney disease. Basically, it's an inherited disorder where you build up cysts in your kidneys, and eventually you go on to have total renal failure. I'm, you're very familiar with it. FDA says that in order to demonstrate efficacy for a drug for polycystic kidney disease, you have to see how many patients go on to have renal failure versus, let's say, a placebo, instead of looking at cyst formation. But the problem is it takes 30 years to develop renal failure as a result of polycystic kidney disease. If you could use a reduction in cyst formation as the endpoint in the trial and show that a new drug reduces the formation of cysts, it seems intuitive you're not going to progress as quickly to renal failure. But they want you to look for the, out, the clinical outcome, renal failure, and guess what? Companies have walked away from developing drugs for polycystic kidney disease. So there's drugs just as simply aren't being developed, and that's what I worry most about. It's not the drugs that are getting licensed in Europe and not here. It's the ones that simply aren't being developed. 